So Zach built a kitchen island table for the homeowners, and when he installed it, he realized the benches blocked all the walkthrough space. Now I gotta figure out a way to make the kitchen island fit in the space that we now have. When planning a tiny home, the devil is in the details. A miscalculation of a few inches can bring work to a halt. We didn't account for the space needed to pull out the benches, and now we have a kitchen table with no seating. So Zach is going back to the drawing board. Is that our table? This is the island replacement. Oh, it looks good. Um, it's still pretty big. How does, how's this bad boy work? Basically, this folds up like that, right? Double piano hinge. Yes. So when it's up against the wall, right, you'll unclip it, it'll fold down. Okay. Then these leaves open up, you know, the legs come up. Uh, of course. And turns into your table. Okay. So everybody gets to look out the big windows when they eat, and it's long enough that everybody can fit at the table. I love the magnet, too. That's awesome. That way it just stows, and you don't have to worry about the legs flopping around. Yeah. And when they actually go to travel, the nice thing is that this is going to store away so clean, and I'm not going to actually have to mount anything to the floor. That's great. It's a simpler build, but I think it's a much smarter solution for the space. It's more functional, absolutely. And, and, it, and it transforms our space, which I love. Show them what you did, Zach. And this whole thing just is going to fold down just pop these legs down. The way that that moves out of the way to clear out that floor space for us to do whatever we need to do, I mean, that's perfect. 